Hi there, I'm just going to do a quick video on um, string samples and blending in real overdub strings into string samples to bring it alive and how it's of benefit to use the real um, to use the samples as well as the real strings because um, string samples nowadays, as we know, are really, really amazing. Um, and um, they do provide a certain uh, orchestral depth that you that would be hard to recreate with just overdubbing. So I think we take the best of both worlds and blend them together to get a really good effect. And that's how I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you now. Um, rather than me actually show you me overdubbing each part, which would take ages, what I'm just going to tell you what I've done in terms of the live strings. I'm going to play it for you first. Um, this is just the strings on their own. And then uh, this is um, me uh, playing um, the three lines with four parts on each line, which um, I've blended different instruments. So I've blended on the bottom line, it's four violas. On the middle line, it's four, two violins and two violas. And on the top violin, it's two violins and two violas. I've recorded them all one at a time, obviously. And then I've um, panned them hard left and hard right to create a real stereo spread, which I really like. I know that with an orchestra, unless you're sitting in the orchestra, you're not going to have this real stereo spread. You're, you're going to be hearing the orchestra far away in front of you. And some people who are doing strings, they like the idea if they're, they're recording a real orchestra of, of recreating that by having like the strings in, in, you know, panning them and having the strings how they would be if you were sitting in the audience listening to an orchestra. But having been a string player in orchestras, I can tell you now that it's really nice to be sitting in it. And it's really nice to hear the stereo of a violin here and a violin there and everything around you. Um, which you couldn't get if you were in an audience. If you were in an audience watching an orchestra, even recording an orchestra, you, you, you're you hearing it at a distance. It sounds incredible, but you're not sat in the middle of it. And so I, as I, I'm talking about like bringing the best of all the worlds together, and I think every disadvantage has an advantage. And I think the disadvantage of not having a real orchestra or string section, but using overdubbed violins, is that you can set it up so it is um, all the way around you. So that's why I pan, pan them hard left, hard right, hard left, hard right, alternating. Yeah, so um, I'm going to play it for you now. Okay. This is just the strings on their own. Now, this is, um, th these are the string samples, which is, um, just so you know what samples they are, um, they are Adagietto Ensemble Sustains Sordino. That's the one that I picked that I like. And that's these on their own. I think I could have, um, like, if you can see the way I've done this, is I've been overlapping the MIDI notes like this. I think I've I've overdone it on the overlapping, so they're kind of it sounds quite sloppy. So I I probably would need to adjust and play around with that a bit. But ultimately, um, once the other strings are blended in, 
I'm not going to notice details like that very much anyway because it's going to completely transform it once you've got the real strings blended in. So I'm just uh, doing a little bit of alteration here. So I think they should they should go over each other all the MIDI notes, but not to the extent that I have done it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. This is with the strings, the real strings blended in, and this is where you get the best of both worlds. It's just, you know, it's nice to blend it in. Um, you can even put, I could even put less of the sample strings in actually. Uh, just bring it in gradually. For the, um, what I've also done is I've done octave viola um, parts, and this is what an octave, just so, you're, just so you know, this is what an octave viola sounds like. Um, I'm going to play you that. Because with, with an octave viola, there, here we go. <laughs> so because there's nothing in the way <laughs> and with the octave viola what it is is um to provide depth um there's a pickup in the bridge that makes it gives it the depth and then i'll also record the octave, um, this is the same range as the cello basically, I'll also record it um, acoustically as well and then you see with these two parts and then I'll blend them together so I'll show you each part on its own um, so you can see what I mean. So this is the, so this could probably come up. bit too much reverb on so I'll take a little bit of the reverb off um, but when then we've got the depth provided by the electric pickup that's in the bridge and that's th this is that on its own but it sounds kind of electric -y. do you see what I mean that's why you blend them both together blend them both together but I need to take the reverb off this one as well bit of reverb off this one there if you blend them both together and you've got a really nice cello solo cello then you obviously you can't recreate this with samples either And you blend it all together, the whole track and everything together. Got a bit of a tremolo as well.
that gives you an idea. Obviously, the strings in this track will be put really low down, and, but it means that the strings that you do have, you know, there's a lot more scope using everything to its best advantage kind of thing. That's the concept. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. And that is my video for YouTube on blending string samples with real strings. Thank you very much and goodbye for now.